Hello, can you hear me? Yes. So my name is Julia and I come from Sweden. And I study ungulates like uh, moose and deer. And they're very similar to what you have here on the savanna, the antelopes. And I, us I actually work as a detective and I try to figure out who has eaten and chewed on branches and trees. And if you're a forest owner, or if you own, or if you're a forest company, or maybe if you have a garden with lots of trees, you care a lot about your trees, and you don't want anyone to eat on them. And uh, some forests in the world are heavily eaten on, and so we really want to find out who are the ones who are eating on these trees. Um, but it's really difficult once the animals have left to know who was the one who took that bite? Uh, so, but today we have all these cool technologies we can use, like DNA. And uh, yeah, so I use these techniques in my daily life. So here I have this moose that we have in Sweden. And this moose comes along and it chews on this twig and <laughs> when it chews it leaves a little bit of spit on there and in that spit there's some DNA and then I go out to the forest and I collect a little piece of this twig and I put them in these bags that I have and then I freeze those so the DNA doesn't get destroyed and then I take take those to the lab with me and then I use these chemicals to get the DNA out of the spit and uh, I have I get the pieces of DNA out and it's basically like uh, on CSI <laughs> on TV where they uh, swap the criminals to find out who uh, did the crime and uh, so how it works is DNA is basically like a fingerprint. It's unique to you. <laughs> and uh, DNA is unique to each species and every individual. Uh, so I have these small pieces of DNA and I can match them to a, a library of fingerprints that I can find in the <coughs> web. And then I can basically find out which species it was that chewed on the trees and I can find out the gender, and I can even find out how they are related. So maybe there was two sisters of moose who chewed on the street. And uh, yeah, that's the technique I use, and I'm gonna use that technique to study uh, what the animals eat and where they eat in uh, Sweden and in Yellowstone National Park in the United States. That's it. Thank you.